a bit overloaded, but surprisingly smooth. This is my review for Triple Nine. Now, Triple Nine was a film that I was kind of hesitant about seeing, mainly because from the trailers it just looked very generic, it looked very straight to DVD like. However, I saw that it was directed by John Hillcoat, and I'm actually quite a fan of his. I loved his work he did for The Road. That movie left me depressed beyond all meaning, but that's exactly what it was supposed to do. And he even did a short movie for Red Dead Redemption. So I was interested in seeing it once I heard about that, as well as I saw an article on WhatCulture.com talking about it being actually an underrated masterpiece. A masterpiece, I will say it's not, but it actually is still pretty good. This film has a lot of actors in it, a bloody lot. And the funny thing about it is only two of them are wasted in my opinion in terms of an actual character. Despite how many people there are and the fact that this movie isn't two hours long, we are still able to get a characteristic trait of each character, an importance to them, and a very relevant story plot to them. At least to say this film is about a crew of bank robbers who are in line with the Russian Mafia. The Russian Mafia want them to do this job for them that inquires them doing something quite illegal, but to do so they would need a window of opportunity to do this. The only way they can do that, or have the window of opportunity that they believe, is to perform a triple nine. A triple nine in cop lingo means an officer killed in action, in which all the cops in the recent area are within this vicinity, quite a large vicinity, will rush to that scene ergo giving them the time they need to do the job. The fact that this film has as many characters as I said, and the fact that they all interweave with each other is actually quite possibly one of the best parts about Triple Nine. Matt Cook does a very good job of writing a very concise script where each point is to the point and moves the story along. There are a few moments that I wish that we could have lingered on a little bit longer, got to establish a little bit more, but for the amount that this guy was trying to put into one story, I commend him for doing such a good job. And I commend John Hillcoat for making that into a concise and understandable and entertaining story. And what's cool about this film is it has multiple climaxes, at least for me. The first being when the plan for the Triple Nine is in motion. The second is for the heist, the main heist. And then the third is actually this event that happens at the very end of the movie, where you think of something is going to happen but it actually turns out it's completely different and that's something that I liked about this film is that there was a lot of twists in twists I mean characters died a lot of people died just to say if there was any character that really stood out I would say that really everyone does a pretty average job Casey Affleck's good as Casey Affleck Aaron Paul's great as Jesse from season 2 of Breaking Bad Norman Reedus he's Norman Reedus Kate Winslet, though, that was interesting, seeing her as a Russian villain. I don't know if she's played a villain before, but she did a pretty good job. The rest of the cast was also very good, and even though they were kind of walking the line with stereotypical characters, there were still moments where you saw a bit of a turn for them, a different side. However, as I said, there wasn't enough time to really establish some of these characters. For instance, Wonder Woman's in this movie. I don't know why. She's, her character is completely pointless in my opinion. However, this film is very entertaining and like I said, the main flaw with this film is the fact that it's not long enough. Oh, and there's something else, and this is something that happens in crime films of late, is basically when the characters seem to act out maliciously against each other when the occasion or the reason for it is not fully warranted. Now there's a few moments that happen in this film where like why are you guys being so aggressive? I know you're gangsters, I know you're criminals, but you're kind of doing this unnecessarily because the motion that you wanted is already in motion, so why kind of hinder it. So either way, those are my only complaints with Triple Nine. It was very entertaining, I did enjoy it, I kind of wanted more from this film, so that's why I'm going to give it a 5 out of 7. I thought it was entertaining, it's really good, it's got some pretty good twists to it, and I think you'll enjoy it. Um, some people didn't, mainly because half the people in the theater were wannabe wankers, so I don't know, maybe they were expecting more gangster shit? I, I don't know. Anyway, that's all for me for this review, guys. I'll see you next time.